Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 12th of January, 2017. I think I said 16 in the last video. Shit. None of this for another video I did. Um, it's your favorite bad boy on the web, Arise Apart, Diva Zar. Not a little pink. Is that pink, Arise? You wearing pink? Maybe I'm wearing pink. Maybe I'm not wearing pink. I don't fucking know, but I feel like I look good today. Let's talk about a, uh, a subject of people coming around and taking, or, or try, trying to take your joy from you. Now, it's not like we're walking around, well, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. It's not like many people are walking around with so much joy through their day, right? Day's kind of rough. You got to get up at a certain time. You got to work hard. You got to fucking uh, try to eat healthy, you know, you know, <laughs> if you're like even slightly responsible in life. But, but, you have a right to be happy. Did you know that? Okay, how fast I am came to see my hands. <laughs> 10 million miles an hour. Fast man alive. <laughs> did you know you have a right to be happy? And did you know that other people don't really have a right to take your happiness from you? And they'll try to do it in the form of negative statements. They'll try to do it in the form of eye rolls. If you're a woman, they'll try to do it in the form of like advice. Well, we don't want, uh, let me give you some advice. The motherfucker, I never asked for your advice. Okay, well, I wrote this status the other day. I said, don't ever accept free opinions from people. Free opinions, everybody has a fucking opinion. And opinions are just, you know, that's what they are. They're free, they're, they're, they're worth as much as their fucking freeness. Okay, they're nothing. And if you want someone's opinion, then you go, you find somebody who has what you want, who has proven that they've acquired it with, uh, the, uh, they've acquired it in a way you want to acquire it. Like, you know, somebody could have, uh, lots and lots of money, but they could be, you know, selling drugs or something, and that's necessarily not somebody I want to go and learn from. But they have something you ha you want, and you go and you find them, and then you pay them. You pay them for their time. You pay them for their opinion. Okay, that's the way to do it. You don't want to ask for free opinions from people. The free ones, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, going around throwing their opinions everywhere, and the ones who have uh, something to say because they've spent their time and energy getting good at something. Mm, it's kind of rude to ask them for a free opinion, don't you think? Like really. Because you're not the only one talking to them, I'm sure. Okay, anyways, what they do is they start to come around and they they begin to throw little little negative comments here and there, little negative shit here and there to try to upset you in any kind of way. Now, sometimes, I'm not, I'm not talking about haters. I talked about haters in the last video, okay? Some could be haters. I'm talking about friends and quotes, family. I'm talking about uh, coworkers. I'm just talking about people throughout your day. And what you got to do is you got to be aware of these people and you got to be like, okay, by the way, I'm sitting like a girl right now. Look, I'm going to move back. Wearing shorts today, not even wearing jeans. Look, legs crossed like this. You're getting fat? You getting fat? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I'm getting fat. And this shirt is a little too small. I'm getting big. That's for sure. That's for sure. Let's say I'm getting fat. I'm trying to be one of those Buddhas. Buddha belly, right? You can rub my stomach and get good luck, right? It's for the ladies. Ladies, rub my stomach and get good luck. Rub my bald head. Rub my stomach. You're bald? I thought you had hair under that. Yeah, ponytail. What do we do with people like that? What what is is there something you can do? Yes, there's something you can do. They think that you uh owe them your happiness, and you don't. You don't owe them shit. You don't owe them shit. So here's the first thing to remember. I don't, I don't owe you shit, dude. Okay? You're having a good day. You're doing your you're doing your thing, and then they come around. They try to throw negativity your way. So here's what you can do. You can say, "Listen, quote quote me. You're being very negative. I don't want to talk to you right now." Then watch them turn even more negative because that's what happens, right? Oh, what? Oh, how dare you come? How dare you say I'm negative? There you go, because you are. And what you need to do is surround yourself. I'm telling you, man, this is so important. I mean, I have been fighting for my rights all day, just so you know, to surround myself with positive people. Like, just that's what I've been doing. What has been my focus today? You know, I, I normally am around very, very, very positive individuals compared to the rest of the sheep out there. However, I have a different perspective today. I want even more positivity. I want even more goodness around me. I think it's possible, right? I think it's possible. I think everybody likes goodness, right? Unless they're crazy or some shit and don't deal with crazy people. <laughs> anyway, I just got an image of, of my stalker. Fucking retarded asshole. <laughs> okay. You want to insist on people around you being positive, okay? Which then means you have a responsibility too. You have to look in the mirror and you always start in the mirror, right? 
You always look in the mirror and you, you, you check yourself. You ask yourself, okay, where am I at? Where am I at in my attitude? And positivity is like a feeling you have to have, right? You got to feel good. Maybe you got to listen to a song or what do I like to do? I like to listen to lectures and audio books and things like that to keep my mind going in that direction. Because here's the thing, you are... Uh, your mind is always going to be thinking something, right? Unless you're zen out or something, but it's probably not happening to anybody. So uh, your mind is thinking something. So what you need to do is you need to give your mind something to think about. You have to give your mind some kind of ideas to to chew on, digest, like food, food, right? In the morning, you eat food. Midday, you eat food. At night, you eat food. And throughout the day, you might eat little snacks here and there. And you're aware of eating food. I, I hope you are. Uh, you must also be aware of all the shit that goes in, inside your head. What is your breakfast of the of the mind? What's your dinner of the mind? Think about it. Look how I look. That's kind of crazy. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead and screenshot that and make some kind of evil meme for me, right? You know, you just do shit like that. Haters, you don't, you don't get anywhere. They just they just don't get anywhere. I don't know why they always think they're like the first haters that ever arrived on the scene. You ever notice that about people? When they come around, they try to like attack you or something. They think they're the first people and they think they're the ones that are going to take you out. <laughs> this is like, no, you're not the first. You're not the last. And everybody before you failed and everybody after you fails and you're going to fail miserably. However, the difference is all the motherfuckers that failed, go look at them. Look what I did to them. Look what I did to them. Why do I talk about them so much? They motivate me. They truly, truly motivate me. They truly, truly motivate me. I mean, you could thank them for me doing these video blogs because I wasn't doing video blogs for a while until somebody started hating on me at a level that I didn't like. So I said, oh, well, here's what I got to do. I got to become more famous and I got to make more videos and they have to fucking deal with my shit everywhere now. Ha. Huh. Okay. That's how you do it. Did you like that? Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. It's a great song. Ha. Huh. Looks like you're sucking dick, Arash. That is not how you suck dick. If you suck dick like that, you have a problem. Okay, all right. That's it. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm just I, I get on basically just say hi to you. You're my friends. You're my fans. I'm like, what's up, guys? I'm still here doing my shit. Hope you're doing your shit too. Today's the 12, 13, 14, 15. Two products will be released: the Crimson Lotus and the Wind of Change. Winds of Change and Crimson Lotus. Both products together for only ninety seven dollars. After twenty four hours, each product will be one ninety seven. See the big jump. And then also remember my Diamond Mind program. I can't believe so many motherfuckers still hit me up. Like, I'm like, you know, you message me something like, are you on Diamond Mind program? And some people are still like, what's Diamond Mind? Are you fucking nuts? What are you talking about? What's Diamond Mind? Diamond Mind is my $97 a month subscription program where I make a video for you about five to six days a week, giving you true knowledge of the mind and the power of your communication. Go check out my Facebook and see what I can do with my communication or my Instagram, right? And I, I teach you things that I would never, ever, ever teach for free. Been the live lecture Saturday. You get to ask any questions, and those lectures are about an hour long. And then we do Q and A, and it's it's truly, truly mind blowing. Okay, it is. It's it's unreal. It's my million dollar program. I call it. Okay, that's what I created. That's what I have. And there's a lot of people on it. Okay, thank you for watching. We are INC Nation. I am Arash Sapar Divazar. Be the best and fuck the rest. And remember that loyalty is royalty. Booyah.